So what does it mean to be in quadratic form? Well, quadratic means, you know, it's a second degree expression. So it's like x squared. And we're used to factoring, like if you would look at this first example, x to the 10th minus 16, if this was x squared minus 16, we'd have no problem factoring it, right? It's just a difference of two squares. We would just factor it as x plus four, okay, times x minus four. The only difference here is we have x to the 10th power. So how do we factor that? Well, it's gonna be the same idea. It's gonna be x to the fifth times x to the fifth, and this is gonna be plus four minus four, okay? If this was x to the 20th, it would be x to the 10th and x to the 10th. But you can see it's still gonna be when you foil, the inside and outside are gonna cancel. It's gonna be just like factoring a difference of two squares. Okay, so let's look at another example. Say we wanna factor x to the sixth minus x cubed minus 12. We would know how to factor this if it was x squared minus x minus 12, right? We just factor it. We say what two numbers multiply to negative 12, but add to negative one, that would be minus four and plus three, okay? The only difference here is it's x cubed and x to the sixth. So this is gonna be x cubed minus four and x cubed plus three. And you can see when you multiply these together, x cubed times x cubed gives you x to the sixth, because when you multiply, you add. And when you do the inner and the outer products, you're gonna get the middle term of negative one x cubed. Now, if we were to make a similar problem, like let's say this is x to the 20th minus x to the 10th minus 12, one way to recognize this quadratic form is you see how this middle exponent is half of the leading exponent? Okay, this leading term's exponent. So you're gonna factor it the same way. It's gonna be x to the 10th, x to the 10th, minus four plus three. So it's always gonna be this middle exponent that's here and here. So when you multiply, you add to get 20.